When this series began, we met five naughty children and five families living on the edge. Don't push your fucking luck, mate! Don't push it! Have a happy family life. Now oh, oh. stop it. Come on, give up with it. Get away. No! Could this intensive parenting course help them rebuild family life? Sit there, you big dog. Sit there and don't. Don't you there? Let's go. Post the poll. Go look at us. Post the poll. One minute. The road to change hasn't been easy. Full of successes. God, I could cry because I'm so happy. Can you believe that? Stop it. Yeah. Setbacks. Yeah. It's not going very yeah. well at the moment. How long are you going to be? As the course draws to a close, how different is life now for our five families? Seven weeks ago, this was a typical evening at Gary and Tracy Wall's home in Essex. No! 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 You fucking no! Son Aaron's bad behaviour was tearing the family apart. It all came to a head on a family holiday in Wales. You know nothing! Listen, I know how to bring my kids up, right? Oh, shut up! All you know nothing! Ball at him. You know nothing! That's all you do! Yeah, you know nothing! Aaron. Why don't you just Aaron. get out? It was a turning point for the family. Well, can we turn around and start eating properly, please? Now, Where's life right, of the no, walls no, is far more peaceful. No! No, 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 no choice. No choice. Hey? I don't have control. All right, thank you. Yeah, 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 we like the way things are at the moment, yeah? And I'll rephrase that. <coughs> we don't like the things the way we are at the moment. We love the way the things are at the moment. Who likes saying Megan Chip? Me! Yeah. <laughs> Eight weeks ago, we didn't know how to deal with them. No. We didn't know what discipline was. Exactly. Yeah? Uh, basically, yeah. we didn't have a clue. Before the course, Gary had reached the end of his tether. <laughs> Aaron was a pain in the rear, yeah? Complete and utterly un out of control. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, Dawn. Calm down! No! I mean, they say the name Aaron comes out of the Bible, yeah? And we all know the Bible's supposed to be good and all that, but I think we named him wrong, right? Yeah? Should have called him Lucifer. I didn't know there was a thing called involvement and one word, love. I did not know how to love Aaron. On the course, Gary was a keen student and quickly right. mastered the techniques of praise. Aaron, thank you very much for getting in the car nicely. Thank you very much for getting out the car nicely. Thank you very much, Aaron. And after much persistence, discipline. I want you there for a minute, right? Where's that guy? Yeah. Right, you put it in for us. Yeah. I feel as if I'm now a different person. I just wake up and go, oh God, it's them kids again, yeah? But now, I mean, I, I do get up, enjoy, like, doing things for them now, yeah? Before, I didn't enjoy doing it at all. Come on in. That's it, well done. Really upsets me, Angus. In Hertfordshire, the day isn't going quite as well for single mother Paula Harris and son every, Angus. Every event in my life is stressful at the moment. All I want to do is go for a walk. Oh, in the okay. park! Oh. God's oh, sakes, oh. Angus. Why don't you scream and shout and show off again? Hey, there's a little audience of kids here. They're all going to laugh at you. Oh. Fine, I'll see you later, Angus, because I'm bored to tears with it. I really am. I'm pissed off with miserable bloody children all the time. Give me a German shepherd any day. I do feel as though all the way along this course, I've been two steps forward, one step back, because um, I've got to a certain point with Angus, and then we fall back. It's not been easy from the start. Ow! Before the course, she struggled to balance full-time no, work gee, with Angie. caring for her hyperactive son. Ow, Angus! Stop it. No, we're going out. I'm going out. I've always regarded myself as not a particularly good parent. I think I'm too volatile. I think I'm too impatient. Ow, God, 
I am too tired. Okay, I tell you, what's going to make you stop? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Angus! That's a nice one. She hoped the course could help her change this, and at first it did. I'm really enjoying myself today. This is a pleasure to go out shopping with these like this. But then a month ago, Paula had a major setback. Angie, can you just calm down, love? Right? Her partner of two years broke off their relationship. Can you just calm down, for no, God's sake? No, no, no. I completely oh, no, I lost down. all focus on trying to practice everything I'd learnt on the course. I'm not standing out the front like some flipping thing off Coronation Street playing football when I got... So I've been completely up and down, just ranging all the time. Oh, fucking hell, forget this. Just forget the whole fucking thing. I can't be bothered with it. I I'm, I'm, I'm too depressed today. I can't do it. Angus, I'm not playing. And now, in the last week of the course, things are still far from perfect. I'll go and sit in the corner, Angus, OK? I would love to be, you know, husband would be on the scene so I could just have a lie down for half an hour and just catch up and I never ever get a chance to refresh my energy, I never do. And then everyone wonders why I'm miserable and tired. Well done, you, well done! What would make me happier is uh, just an actual time to myself. Not having to rush back. And, I'm not helping you, Angus. You're an inch off the ground. Not having to bolt my food all the time. Not having to to actually have... I, you know, I've said this a thousand times over. Even if it was once every three months, if I had a weekend to myself, I'd be a different person. Be careful, honey, because that's really, that's really unsafe. I do still have more okay? work to put in. So I do still need me, to get myself in a frame of mind mentally where I can deal with him when he is being testing without falling into that um, stress trap. But today, that's easier said than done. I'm not over there, Murph. I'm, I'm here. If you can't walk in a straight line, then it'll go back to the basics with you as well. Every fucking time I walk you two, it's a disaster. In Wakefield, Let Phil and Jane Lees are going bowling with daughter Heidi and son Cameron. They're quietly confident it's going to go well. I think we're gradually getting into a position now where we can uh, we can go out with the kids more often. You know, we can actually plan ahead a little bit more. Do you know, it's it's nice because people comment on how well behaved he is, and that's nice. I used, that I I used to work where we didn't work. We used to go to that nursery, didn't you? Yeah. Now I'm looking forward to it. I mean, everything that we wanted to achieve, we have. So, fingers crossed it's going to be all right. Bowling! Yeah! Uh, 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 where do we get there? Get out of here! Seven weeks ago, just leaving the house with their three-year-old son filled them with dread. Before we actually started the course, everything was a trauma, you know, days out, you know, um, school, shopping, everything was a nightmare. Listen. <laughs> Everybody's looking at you, right? Help! Help! We were suffering um, with lack of sleep. Sit <laughs> down and behave. Get into bed now. No, stay in bed, please. And everything just kind of snowballed up into one big problem. Give up! Which was just getting us both down at, the, at that time. <laughs> so I just remember going into the first session, the first course, thinking, what's this fella going to tell us here? And, um, sat there, eyes getting wider and wider by the minute, and thinking, hang on a second, he's got a point. And the realisation set in that, you know, things weren't actually working. Uh, would you like to come back in? She've had two minutes time out now, come on then. No, when I'm at the supermarket, fine. Cameron must sit in the trolley. Can you have a sleep and be a good little man? Come on, good night, darling, I love you. Take your picture. No. Face down there. Now, after weeks of working on their parenting, Phil and Jane can Smile. handle anything Cameron throws at them. Go, Cameron! <laughs> Very good. Fantastic, mate. The single thing that's had the biggest impact is talking nicely to him. I'll take a shot. No, no, the football back, mate. It's a good boy, thank you. Talking nicely to him and he talks nicely back to you and he's very, very polite. Right, go. Oh, oh, no way. There's no way you can get a strike, Cameron. Oh, yeah, can. Good. 
go on there. I'm winning, mate. I think a couple of months ago, it would have been running up there and through there and up the stairs. It's been fantastic what we've been through, it really has. The improvement's been brilliant. Ah, the camera's still won you. <laughs> <laughs> p.m. in Hertfordshire and Professor Sanders has called to check on Paula. I'm just really very upset at the moment. Again, I'm sorry, my, my parenting has really gone to pot in the past 24 hours. At the end of the day, kids are remarkably resilient. I mean, they can cope with all sorts of stuff. The thing that they can't cope with all that well is when they're their parents are so distressed and upset yeah. that it makes them worried about what's what's wrong with mummy. Okay. You know, have faith that you will be able to turn this around with Angus. Right, okay. I've got confidence that you will be able to do this. I mean, you put in a lot of time and energy and effort into this. Yeah, I have. I've worked and really hard on this. you can't allow anything to throw you. Yeah, you're right. It's just too important. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. Yeah. OK. The families are in the last week of an intensive parenting course. By now, life with their children should have changed for the better. Oh, you're so good. But for Paula Harris, it's still a struggle. Just let go of the frigging dog! And Professor right. Sanders yeah, right. has been trying to help. It's been four days since his last call. And Paula has been making an effort to be more positive with son Angus. I'm still trying to keep myself calm because then my parenting so much better. But he's he has been really, really good. Good boy. I like shortcuts. Do you? Shortcuts. So he does mirror my behaviour. So the calmer I am, the better, the, the calmer he is. This is why the past couple of months or weeks have been so testing for me. She's decided to take him on a special day out to the local leisure park. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to hold it together for him as a parent. He's very sensitive to moods, and because I've been up and down like a roller coaster, he's reacted to that. He's been like a little barometer all the time, everything that's gone on in this house. Yeah! That's it, well done, OK. But something clicked inside of me, and I've gone gradually uphill since then. Yeah, I've had a really lovely day, really lovely day. Yeah, he's been very good. All I care about at this stage in my life and for the future is the relationship I have with my child and to try and keep that on an even keel. I can swim now. I know you can swim really well, can't you? Come on. It's the final session and the last time the parents will have any contact with Professor Sanders. Soon, they'll be on their own. Well, welcome back everyone to the last session. It's uh, really great to see you back here again. This is the session where we're really reviewing how you've gone over the last few weeks and to plan it. Professor Sanders wants them to approach the future with confidence. Using recent video clips of daily life, he shows them how far they've come like, in just two months. Oh, oh, for Dana. Kieran. Kieran, yeah, that's what I meant. What's she doing there? Involving him. She's involving him. Sure? Not only involving him, he's responding, isn't he? Yeah. He's helping. Yeah. And that's different, isn't it? Yeah, it is different, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank Before you. Before the course, Tracy had little time for son Aaron. This drove a wedge between Gary and Tracy. And that holiday in Wales pushed them to breaking point. I've dealt with this boy all week. You ain't st trying to sort him out oh, once. shut up! You're in this together, and it's just so important... With Matt Sanders' help, together. they reached a truce. Tracy, you've really got to ask yourself, what is it that you can do to reconnect with Aaron so that yeah. you're feeling closer to him? She's been making a big effort with Aaron ever since. I think what made me not love Aaron was because of his behaviour problem that he had. But obviously now I've been on this course and I'm sort of pretty pleased of what I've actually learned for myself. I sort of think that I've come like a long way with Aaron sort of thing. Basically, there have been uh, children 
are supposed to be, yeah? And they're doing well, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, we and Gary yeah. sort of getting on a bit better yeah. now yeah. compared to what mm. we were. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. great. Especially after <laughs> Wales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like from? Simon Hunt has also had to work hard on his relationship with son Rhys. Oh, I don't lose your bag. It was an accident. Bollocks, was it an accident? Oh, what was it then? Was it Been pissing around as usual, that's what it was. I've often thought that the kids would be better off if I wasn't here. Don't piss me about something, because I'm really not in the mood. With my mood swings and the way I am. Simon and wife Sue followed the rules. OK, it's time out then. Let's go. Rhys, when you hear the buzzer go, that's when your time out's finished. But change didn't come easily. You're a fucking tall little shit. All this, I haven't got a lot to do with Reese at all, it's all about me really. It's changing my ways, my perceptions on things. With a bit more determination, a bit more effort on my part I suppose, then hopefully I can crack it. Slowly, his hard work began to pay off. It's because you've been good. I can help you. I feel that as a family, we've come miles. Simon's achievements, I feel, have been fantastic. When I look at him and Reese together, I just love it, because there's just that bond there now that wasn't there before. You preferred it when we're friends? Yeah. Yep. yep. No. And me. The Christmas pupa and the yeah. yeah. And the butterfly. The butterfly. Well done. What's your thought about that? I don't know, I'm quite emotional, actually, because I think it was lovely. Yeah. Um, just the interaction with his son, it was just lovely just to see him interacting with Reese like that. They have all had different issues to confront. Here, the Goldies are enjoying a family Sunday lunch. Before, eating out with daughter Elizabeth was a nerve-wracking experience. She ruled our life, and we let her. Elizabeth was born four months early and is profoundly deaf. Don't kick! Don't kick! Jackie has Don't always kick. spoiled her. On the course, Jackie struggled to be tough. I think if um, you hadn't been there, Mark hadn't been there, I probably would have just bought something to just shut her up. Since the day we joined the course, I wanted to turn over a new leaf with her. And I think the course has helped a lot. Life with Elizabeth has got easier. My confidence has grown immensely, it really has. We still have problems, but she's, she is learning and the occasions are getting smaller and smaller and, and, and further and further apart. So in, in what way was it different for you to be able to have her, you know, not performing? We could eat. Yeah. We could actually enjoy what we're eating mm -hmm. instead of bolting it down in a relaxed manner, yeah. So under normal circumstances, or before we met you guys, that uh, she would be under somebody else's table. Yeah. Jane Lees has learnt to get tough with son Cameron. Cameron, you sit there for two minutes and have your time out, OK? Before the course, she catered to her son's every whim. Would you like a jammy dodger or a custard cream? That's nice. Would you like another video on? Barney, no, old Power Rangers. I did find it hard to say no at the beginning, and I'd buy him something for being naughty just to make him good. And now he knows they can only have something as a treat or a reward for something that is done well. Time out. What I thought okay. was nice about this is that you were, you were firm, you were decisive, you explained what it was that was happening, and then you stuck to your guns. No, go sit down. Go sit down. In all honesty, I've never seen Jane do a time out, so for her to be calm and, and handle the situation, I think that's fantastic. Really good. Brilliant. You've been such a good boy. You know? Paula Harris has had a difficult time, but she has made progress. Love you lots. You're an angel. I love you, my angel lady. I love you, my angel boy. OK. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> OK. So what are you doing well there? Uh, well, it was karma. It was cooperating. The thing that makes the difference is your own emotions. If you, you go ballistic and your voice goes up and you're angry when you do it, it just seems to set kids off. 
And it sounds as though, to me, that it's also a formula for keeping things going, yes. too. So it's a kind of a, a watching brief on your stress, stress level. Yes. <laughs> what's needed to make Life for our five so families may have changed for the better. Of, uh, you know, consistency but the hard work goes on. One little word of advice, don't take your eye off the ball for a minute. Don't get cocky, don't get complacent, and don't think that change is permanent unless you continue to do the things that your children are responding to. Because it's about continuing to parent well over their lifetime. I'd just like to end by thanking you all for your hard work, your commitment, and really to have made a great success of it. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you. After two challenging months, the course is finally at an end. They joined, hoping it would make them better parents. They wanted to turn family life around. The course has altered our life, to be honest. Thank you, Mia. You know, my relationship with Cam has just changed into a, you know, a little mate that I've got now. <laughs> I believe we're definitely better parents I than do. the course, yeah. I do. I love you, Cam. Hopefully the future will hold a little boy and a grown man that will just flourish and grow all together and the love will still be there. There's no way I'm, I'm prepared to let it go back to how it was. Good girl! I know that I can see progress and I can see that it's working and I think if we carry on, I think we're really heading for a good future with us. We have become a lot closer because of it. I think we were at many stages over the years in danger of really falling apart, me and Angus. I just feel a bit of light at the end of the tunnel now. I mean, I feel, as a father, I'm proud of what I've done to come this far with the kids. Yeah, I feel really good. You know what I mean? I feel really good. I can see a giggle. You see what? A giggle. A giggle? <laughs> <laughs>